is a year where we got to make our prayers prophetic. Mm. <laughs> you say, how can I make my prayers prophetic? If prophecy is speaking what God says, then prophetic prayer is praying God's word. <laughs> mm. Come on. That's good. I feel That's like good. I want to say that again. If yeah. prophecy is speaking what God says, hallelujah, then prophetic prayers is praying what God wrote. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. So when we began to pray, we need to, if we grab hold to a word, See, we can grab hold to the book of Zabaz and say, God, expand my territory because why? We didn't write it. God put it in his word. Mm -hmm. So that's the principle that we can recall back to God in a place of declaration and prayer. That's so right. when the man of God goes to God and he prays to the Lord, he says what? He, and see, this is what prophetic prayer is. Prophetic prayer is not telling God what you did. <laughs> as far as what you did in and of yourself. But you remind God, watch this, you remind him of what he said and what he told you to do in his word. In his word. This is when you start praying prophetically. That's right. The man of God came back and said, remember now, oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Look, Lord. That's right. I have, I have walked before you in your truth. Not in my truth. Not in what I did. I walked in what you told me to do. And with a loyal heart, I did all that I could in you. This is what the man of God says. He says this because he says, and it happened before. As before Isaiah. So when he reminded God of what God gave him to do and that he did what God told him to do. See, when you do what God tells you to do, when you believe what God says he said, when you start saying what God says back to God, imagine all y'all got kids. Guess what happens when your kid tell you something that you told him? <laughs> mm. when, when, you, when your kid gives you back your advice. <laughs> mm. when, your, when your kid tells you, Father, didn't you say it's not good to drive on the, or to crowd the road on the left? <laughs> huh? When your kid gives you back your word, it's something about honoring what he said. My, my, my. Mm -hmm. And see, that's exactly how God feels when he gives, when we, and so how much more when we give God back his word in a prophetic manner? See, there's some expansion that's going to take place, but it's going to take place with us giving back God the prophetic or the prophecy or the, the stance of his word. What was his word? He said, I, I, you told me to walk in truth. I walked in truth. You told me to keep my heart pure. God, I did all I could. He, you told me this. And now you telling me that my days is numbered? Mm. Talk to me, God. Ha, huh. see, hey, glory to God. See, God is saying, talk to me, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to hear what you got to say, gentlemen. I want to hear my, I want to hear that you receive me in you. Oh, when you start prophesying in prayer, prophetic declarations. The Bible says if you decree a thing, what happens, man of God, Glenn? It comes to pass. He said, when you decree a thing. In his name. Come on. So if I begin to decree the word of God, that means I'm prophetically speaking God's mm -hmm. word back to him. And God honors what he says. And see, what we find right here is that the man of God was, was perplexed. Like, wait a minute, God. I ain't ready to go. And the man of God, prophetic word from God, came. But then there came a prophetic prayer. Woo-wee! 
what's going to happen this year, this year, this year, this year? When we began to pray prophetically, what happened? The Bible says in verse number four, it says, and it happened. <laughs> what happened? It happened. What? God heard his word. God heard his word. God heard his word. God heard his word through his man of God and his word. It says, and it happened when God heard his word I, before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court. See, in those days, you had an outer court and an inner court, right? Going to see the king. He said, before he got out the middle court, the word of the Lord came to Isaiah the prophet. <laughs> Uh-oh. See, the prophetic prayer will cause the prophet to hear God again. <laughs> See, so the, the prophet heard God again. He said, go return. Go return back to Hezekiah. Not because Hezekiah said something to you. See, we ain't got to speak. See, we, 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 we speaking to people. <laughs> Quit speaking to people this year. This ain't the year to be talking back to people. This ain't the year to be in conflict. This ain't the year to be in debate. You ain't got to debate God's word. You ain't got to debate where God is taking you. You ain't got to debate who you are in Jesus. You ain't got to debate with nobody. <laughs> you know what you do this year? You, 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 you smile and give them a smile and you get right on, get on, right on, go that's what you do this year. You just smile and get right on going. And you go and prophesy and pray. You go to decree and pray. You go to prophesy to the, and, and look, you prophesy to the word that a doctor say. You prophesy to the word that a court magistrate say. You prophesy to a word that even your wife say. You prophesy, y'all better hear me. <clears throat> Better Come quit on, getting in these conflicts because all it is is a distraction. And when God wants to expand you, He's saying, I'm gonna do it through prophetic prayer. <laughs> when you decree a thing, somebody said, What, Pastor Glenn? <laughs> It'll come to pass. It comes to pass in His name. You got to decree it in His name, and it's gonna come to pass. Jabez took a prophetic prayer. See, see, Jabez was in a place and he took a prayer. And see, we, we want to see where in the, I wanted to know where in the word where another prayer came, where God expanded somebody, not just naturally. See, the expansion for Jabez was it was his influence, but the expansion for Hezekiah, it was his life. Yes. He had a death. He was he was sentenced to die. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. sentenced, sentenced you to be in a space at a specific time. Mm -hmm. oh, but, but, but what did he do? He didn't stay there. He didn't even answer the man of God. He just didn't agree with the man of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But he wasn't disagreeable. Oh, y'all yeah. better hear that. Mm -hmm. He was Amen. not disagreeable. Amen. He, uh, he didn't agree with what the man of God said, but he didn't get out of agreement. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's, good. that's good. See, this is uh, that's another nugget you can take for this year. Mm -hmm. Don't be out of agreement this year. Why, mm -hmm. Q? Because when any two touch and agree, what? It is done. It's done. That's right. Right? So you don't want to be in a place of conflict and disagreement. You don't want to be in a place of opposition this year. If somebody is off and they just speaking out of their mind, you understand they off and they speaking out of their mind, and I'll see you later. Because mm -hmm. I got a different prophetic brain. Amen. I declare that you start speaking with you, 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 you get an agreement. And, hey, that's what you believe. I ain't saying that ain't what you said. I'm not saying those ain't even facts, but it ain't necessarily truth. <laughs> At the point of time. Right. The man of God was speaking 
felt that the Holy Spirit, God gave him a word, get your stuff in order. Yes. That was a fact. But it mm -hmm. didn't become the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth was he turned his face to the wall and started declaring prophetic prayers to the Lord of what he did, of what God gave him to do and that he honored. And because he did that, God, the Bible says it happened for him. He made the man of God turn around. He made him turn around and he said, return and you tell, you tell Hezekiah. You said, well, now you got another word. He said, I've heard your prayer. I didn't hear. He, he said, I heard your complaint. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say, I heard your debate. Uh, he said, I heard your prayer. That's right. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I seen your tears. Oh, bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, man, don't you get to messing with me. Yeah. <laughs> don't mess good. with me about a prophetic tear. That's Ooh. good. Amen. What? Amen. Kids can prophesy. Oh my 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 my. Yes, they can. What can they prophesy? Jesus wept. Woo! Mm -hmm. Why did Jesus weep, man? Because somebody that he loved was hurting, and he knew he was going to deliver him. Amen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Your tears can speak. Oh my. Mm -hmm. And see, God wants to hear some prophetic prayers this year. So we, we, so in essence, He wants to expand our prayer life yeah. <laughs> into the prophetic. He wants yeah. to expand our prayer life. He wants to expand our life. Some, some of us, the enemy, been coming after Big T for all last year. Coming after that man of God. Coming after that man of God. Coming after that man of God. But he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here declaring and decreeing the word of God. That's right. Amen. But what's happening? He God is saying now, now to start, start prophesying to those to the, everything that was spoken in your life, everything that was spoken against the knowledge of God, everything that was spoken against your body that mm -hmm. you don't agree with. Mm -hmm. Find that word that said, by your stripes, I'm healed. So I decree in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In and Jesus' name. Jesus name you can't touch my body because I'm property of the spirit of the living God. I'm made in his image. It ain't nothing about God's image sick. I'm made in his likeness. It ain't nothing about his likeness. Oh, disease. There ain't nothing about him. Hallelujah. It's hurt. I'm made in him. Amen. And so, Father, I decree, because I'm made in your image, yes. I'm made after your likeness. Yes, God. Then I start prophesying to the I start prophesying to the wind. Oh, wind of healing come rest on me. Because yeah, to you the breath of life. Yeah, we start prophesying the word. Yes, God. Then it causes expansion. Yes. Right? Amen. So, so now that thing that's on the inside of you, go oh boy, see. <laughs> that thing that you've been not that thing that you want to see grow. That mm. thing that you know you want to build. Yes. God has made you a creative builder. You say, how do I know that? You say, how who said that? Hold on, but you're, you're trying to make me go too fast. Watch this. Let me finish with, with Hezekiah. Hezekiah was so blessed. He was so blessed, but he wanted to, he, he was so assured of his prayer. When the man of God came back and said, God has added years, he said, okay, you say God added years. See, I know you a prophet. And see, I, and see you know when God says something. But guess what he said? Not only do I, this is the spiritual, the, uh, the spiritual authority he started walking in. He said, man, what's the sign then? <laughs> mm. He said, man, what is the sign then? Now, I don't want to just hear it. I want to see it now because I know what God said. I know what his word is. See, now you looking, raise your level of expectation, gentlemen. I almost got excited. 
See, it's in your level of expectation where you start to look for signs. You start to look to see where is God moving because I've been speaking that. Because I've been speaking it, not because of me, because I'm speaking God's word back to him. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just in agreement with his word. So now I'm looking for, I got an expectation to see. And my expectation, the Bible says, your expectation is from him. Why? Because if I'm in expectation, then I'm standing in a, pro, in a posture of faith to see God move. Before we even got on here, I asked Fargo about a situation, and everybody knows the situation. And if you don't, it's a faith situation. And I told him I was in prayer about the situation. And I told him because I was in prayer, I want to hear reports. <laughs> Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. well, I, want I don't want to hear reports to say, well, Dre, you prayed a good prayer, buddy. No, nah, heck you know, nah. because I believe to see God's word. And I'm like, here's a car. I'm like, man, God, where is it at? I'm tired of the enemy taking our families. I'm tired of the enemy taking our, 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 our visions and taking everything that we want to do in life and making us think what we can't do. I'm telling you, gentlemen, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you today. And see, it's not just words only. My, my, my. But God will put a fire in your feet. Yes. He'll put a fire in your belly. He'll put a fire in your heart to do the work and the will of God. To complete the vision. To be, you can not only complete it, but you can run right through the tape. With more left, with more left, with more left on your rubber. This ain't the year to allow the enemy to have an inch. We coming for the whole scroll because God okay. is giving us the land and he's coming to expand us. And it's going to happen through our prophetic prayers, through the things that we believe. This man of God was in such expectation, such expectation. He told that same prophet that just told him what the Lord said he wasn't going to be able to do. Well, give me the sign of what I am going to do. Why? Because mm. I'm praying to see what God is going to do in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, give God some Amen. praise.